What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. Obviously by the title you kind of know uh, what this video is about. And yes, I got a new tour iron and there's been a lot of speculation about it. A lot of people kind of ask me questions. Some of you guys already know exactly what it is, but Jake from Stripe Show, um, this, this thing was actually kind of built because my other one, I, I, brought, I caved the face in for my Wilson. So Jake said, hey, I have something for you. Basically, he put this together for me uh, based off of all my swing data that he already has. And this thing is absolutely incredible. It's the Strixion Z, uh, model ZX, I believe that's what that is. And this is a uh, 18 degree, it's an actual two iron. It's just, it's not a cavity, what is it called? Cavity back? It's not a hollow face, so this is a solid face. So it's a lot harder. It's a very like, like a, just a rugged club, I guess you could say. And he put the, uh, the Fujikura Ventus Black in here. And this shaft has just been incredible. This is like a three wood shaft, but I was, I'm able to swing it fast enough to where I can actually use it for a two iron and it is absolute missile launcher. It's a club that we built for, for tees only. It's not really, I can't hit this into par fives. It doesn't have enough spin or enough trajectory. It kind of replaces my three wood essentially. So this is what we're working with. I'm gonna go out here, I'm out at tour 18. I'm gonna play four holes with this club and hit tee shots and just kind of talk a little bit, bit about it. And uh, that's what we're working with. And I love this club. So Jake from Stripe Show, thanks man. You always hooking me up good. So let's get right into this starting on hole number 10. All right, we're starting on hole 10 and uh, straight into the wind. It's pretty windy today, but it's perfect for this video because I'm gonna get to really show how good this well, how good this club works. But um, I got Matt here videoing, as I said in the intro, <laughs> as, as usual. But this is a probably about a, a 380 yard hole from these tees, so it, it takes an up uphill into the wind. So I think this is a good club. You hit it well today. I did. I think he only hit it once, but he hit it really good. If you hit a driver really well you might get it past that but me and matt hit drivers earlier here and i don't think we made him that far <laughs> no we weren't even in play <laughs> but that's just the beauty of having this club and it's the reason why i hit it so much is because i can still hit it a long ways i can keep it under the wind and it's a little bit easier control than my driver right now so i'm really liking it jake from stripe show he really knows what he's doing he built me this club and uh i'm loving it so far you guys have seen me hit it a bunch but i kind of wanted to make a video and actually tell you guys what it is and kind of talk about it because i haven't really done that so today's the day all right, so that's a 150 stake, but the pin is all the way in the front. I know that because I played it earlier. I'm probably, this pin's about 150 yards. So I'm gonna hit just a, and I'm gonna hit a punch nine and see if that gets me there. See that pole, you yeah, see that pole? That's I the got it. That's left, Matt. Yeah. That might be so far left that it's good. <laughs> or that it's not good, but it might be okay over there. Guys, I've really been on the struggle bus with my game. It has nothing to do with anything else other than the fact that I've just kind of been struggling with a lot of different parts. Like my swing just feels really weird and just kind of going through some growing pains, I guess. But I mean, that ball is well short. The struggle is real. Look at this. I mean, I'm I'm a 30 yard short, but and he's losing his hat. Look at him. My hair. actually a really good shot obviously this video is more more than it's more about my two iron but I figured I would just play some holes anyway and kind of I guess it also proves that you don't need a driver to be able to put yourself in good positions at least I mean I do that a lot but I mean he was in the center of the fairway he gave himself a good position to try to make birdie but at worst he's got to still a par putt so ah. we don't count that one <laughs> This is just real. I mean, I can't, you can't make up bad golf. <laughs> All right, second hole of the day, hole number 11. This actually sets up pretty good. I'm gonna aim right at this bunker and try to hit a little draw. And uh, I can just go with this one, so. Another end of the face. Just covered the bunker. That should actually roll a good ways and have be right in the fairway I mean you probably see that ball fly yeah on the camera it's just it doesn't go higher I mean I can I can hit low shots I can't really hit it too high but I can just just the way that I can control the spin is just the reason that I love hitting this club off the tee and I hit it a lot all right guys so right around the 150 like I said straight into the wind though and I mean this is a 
from the from those tees i think this is right around a 400 yard hole so i mean solid tee shot there and that uh probably gonna have like an eight iron with this wind so i got one exactly 150 this pin i'm gonna hit eight iron try to sling one in there from the right and a little short of this pin's not bad Well, that's Is gonna that be, gonna get close or what? I think that'll be underneath the hole too, so you have an uphill birdie putt. <laughs> that actually was nice. Remember what I say: take care of the course, it'll take care of you. Me and Matt are gonna play some matches. There's gonna be one on my channel soon and one on his channel very soon, so stay tuned for that. And some more and matches gonna, after that. We gotta play some more matches. Some a little more consistently, yeah. Yeah. Because the competitiveness is just off the charts, and it's unlike any other matches that match, I failed. All right, well, like we said, Tig actually pretty solid shot here. Unfortunately, did not get below the pin, but you know this is still a makeable birdie. This thing has a lot of break in it for this putt. I'm talking like foot. Oh, just left them both the hole. Darn, darn it. That's kind of unfortunate. I mean, I hit a really good second shot, and. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of just going through it with with uh, my swing right now. I'm kind of, I'm not really making any adjustments, but sometimes it just kind of feels like it goes away. I'm trying to stay patient for anybody out there struggling with that. It's happened to me before, and I know I'll I'll come back stronger. So you just got to stay patient and keep keep practicing. Don't give up. Just get a look at it, guys. This club is an absolute missile launcher. I really like it. And then if you guys look at the shaft here, the uh, Fujikura Ventus Black stiff it is stiff so that's what it's working with guys this is my third hole of the day obviously if you've never if you've never uh if you've never heard of tour 18 here in uh flower mound texas this place replicates um golf holes from the all over the world from famous courses and it's just absolutely a lot of fun so this hole number 13 out here is pine valley number 17 so this is what we're looking at here i'm gonna try to hit just kind of a low cut uh, right over the 150 and give myself a wedge in. If that goes 250 with that swing, then this something is crazy. Literally just how I drew it up, perfect little baby fade. I mean, that was just absolute money. So hopefully I have a wedge in. Hopefully it didn't make it to the waste bunker up there. If anybody who was watching this video has ever played Pine Valley, let me know how this hole replicates. Pine Valley. Pine Valley. <laughs> Pine Valley. Let me know uh, in the comments how this replicates the hole. I mean, I feel like with like especially with Amen Corner out here with uh, 16, 17, and 18 at Augusta, 12, 13, and 14. Sorry, just incredible and very, very uh, did a great job. So the, it's it's awesome out here. You got to come out here and check it out at some point in your in your life. A thousand percent. I mean, first time we came out here, they said America's greatest holes, and I a thousand percent believed it the minute we came out here. Oh, man. All right, just almost ran through the fairway, but playing from the tips, I didn't quite get there. Um, I got 60 degree. My caddy here is uh, getting me a number. 74.2 adjusted to 79.2. So you're going to want to make sure you take into accountability that you're going a little bit uphill, downwind. but uh, you are downwind. So play it at about that 75 number. Uh, I mean, the caddy advice, uncanny. That's insane. See, That's good. Maybe I just need a caddy. I'm just kidding. See, when it comes down to it, you can never blame the player. No, 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 no. That is not what I meant to say. You can never blame anything but yourself. So it's just a matter of you practice, you get better. You practice, you get better. That's just how how it works. <laughs> Either practice or get better, or you practice and get worse. Those are your only two options. So my depth perception is a little bit off here. I got about five of the I got not even five that's not five I got about ten of the foot foots ten foots a really easy putt though like he gave himself the best chance to make birdie here putting up the hill I was just bumpy I think I hit it on my line I mean but a little tap in par there put yourself in a good position in the fairway you usually have a better chance of making birdies really I would never would have guessed Tig Check out the Good Good store if you haven't yet. But if you, for some reason, haven't seen uh, anything you purchase in the Good Good store, gets you entered to to for a full trip to come to Dallas 
and hang out with all of us, hang out in the good, good house, and uh, play some golf and be in a video. So if you haven't done that, be sure and, be sure and do that because that'd be a lot of fun. I think I got a par five here. Guys, this is the last time I'm gonna play in this video. It's gonna be kind of shorter, but short and sweet. You, you guys know what it's about. This is what I'm playing. Uh, Firestone number 16. 625 yards from back here, and you never know. I'm gonna hit two two irons and probably a wedge in. That's just how, that's just crazy. It is downwind, bro. Imagine if this hole's straight into the wind. That would be playing like 900 yards. Yeah. Oh, he hit it like a driver. <laughs> that thing is going miles for a two. You hit it like a driver, so you got I, all the wind. Yeah, I, I took that upstairs to try to get some wind, and uh, gosh, that's why I love hitting this club. It's so versatile, and I can go up, I can go down, I can go left and right. Sometimes it's not always on purpose, but <laughs> I'm literally sitting behind the cart because I'm not. Tr I'm trying to get out of the wind, but I, I'm going to repeat that. The 250-yard plate now. So whatever happened, this ball traveled 375 yards from where I hit it to where it ended up. And uh, I have 250 yards to this pin on this par five. And I'm probably not gonna be able to hit two iron, but I'm gonna probably see if I can go for this green in two. And uh, just end this video out with a, with a bang here. So that was pretty cool. I mean, I'll, that's the farthest I've ever hit a ball, whether or not it hit the cart path. I don't know, there's no scuffs on the ball. So I don't know, but I love this club. And I mean, why do I even need a driver at this point really? So I need 236 yards of carry. It's very aggressively downwind. So I'm gonna hit a six, six iron. I'm gonna try to, cause it's so aggressively downwind. Why am I saying aggressively? I sound like Kyle. That's a good miss. Oh, it's there. I'm not mad about it. I'm gonna hit another one with a six iron just to see if I can go try to uh, take a little more aggressive line and see what happens. right at it. No, I saw the splash. Hmm. That was just a little bit short, but guess what? My real one, I missed in the right spot and uh, try to get that up and down for birdie to finish this video out. But hope you guys have enjoyed this, kind of getting to know my two iron. I know a lot of you have seen it, like I said, but just wanted to specify exactly what I'm working with. My bag is, is pretty much exactly where I want it to be. So I got all the right tools for me to just start really excelling in my game so let's get it all right so hopefully you can hear me i am almost pin high left but i got i mean i'm in perfect position see if i can get this up and down to finish this out and finish even par after four holes which score wasn't really a big deal but always like shooting a good number dang not terrible Kind of landed on some sand, but. I was right at the hole, though, young man. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, like I said, this is gonna be a pretty short video. Uh, played four holes with my new two iron and uh, kind of gave you guys a rundown on exactly what it is. So that's it for today's video. Matt, thanks for coming out and helping me film this. And uh, shout out to Tour 18 for having us out. We filmed some good, good content out here, so stay tuned for that. It's just, it's really good stuff. Mm -hmm did some cool knockout challenges and, and so on. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be seeing you real soon with some more content. Probably some more matches, some more course vlogs, all of the good stuff here in 2021. So thanks for all the support. Love you guys. Peace out.